Hi guys, you're welcome to another episode of Analyze This. My name is Toon J. Andrews and with me on the show is my co-host. Honey Ogunde. So on this episode of the show, we're going to be talking about um, unorthodox investments, you know, what people like to call alternative investments. Um, I mean, if you know me at all, you know my strong um, views about them and how strongly opposed I am to a lot of them. But um, I'm, I'm trying to see if we can convince me and generally convince the, the general world about um, alternative investments. Um, Why are you calling them by a very complicated name? Well, because I, I don't honestly tend so, to look uh, at because them I think that there's the different terms they are, they're different. alternative marketing. So what we're typically going to be analyzing today yes. is network marketing, multi-level marketing, or Ponzi schemes. We're going to be analyzing, is it one or the other? Which is it? Let's get down to the root of it. How can you recognize one? What's the difference? Which one's legitimate and which one's not? Exactly. And this is Tunji's favorite topic, so I'm really excited to be it's breaking down. It's not my favorite topic. It's just but you feel the, passionately the, the about it. The lines are blurred for me, in, right. in, especially because I, I'm an analyst, right? Yes. I, I'm predominantly my, my first core is mm. being an analyst. And um, once I cannot clearly see um, the trajectory between products and sale, it, it's, there's, a, there's a challenge for yeah. me. So even, we'll, even very complex things like debt market. Uh, the debt capital market where uh, uh, debt is refinanced, I can still see it. I can yeah. still see the trajectory. I know what you're betting on. I know what you're betting against. I know that you're betting against something going up, something going down. So I can see that. Um, in terms of a, a, a lot of this um, investment, it's, mm -hmm. it's, I don't I don't. Okay, see but it. let's take it all the way back. So mm -hmm. what is... A policy scheme and what is network marketing or multi-level marketing like can we like maybe start by defining it okay so i will start Help from the the, the, the the easy one the easy one right the ponzi um ponzi is was named after charles ponzi uh, uh, an italian dude who came into um a lot of money selling um, options to people promising them 40% interest saying right. that okay he was doing some offshore investment and if you could put in money on this he will give you 40% interest on it right. and um, it's only safe to say that so that was Charles like the first sort of, yeah <laughs> Charles, well, Charles disappeared, disappeared, disappeared but if he disappeared that's okay but what happened to all the people that sort of invested their because money went because it wasn't even going anywhere in the first place and and, and so basically Charles would take from X X and pay, pay to Y B. plus 40 percent take exactly. Y's own use it to pay A so so the concept so it was like a big that, circle exactly. and there's no sort the of concept core with, or the concept with it is that they sell you the dream of a better life right he takes money uh, Ponzi takes money from A B C D and uses that same money to pay out to a lot of people with interest. Mm -hmm. Now, what generally happens is that if you've been paid out, and, uh, and there's always a tie-in of involve more people, tell more people about it. If you tell yeah. more people, you will get X uh, But interest if a business rate. is good, wouldn't you be telling people about it naturally? No, 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 no. So that's not this, the problem. There's, a, there's, a, there's an incentive to telling people about right. it. So when you tell people, you get 10% uh, more interest. So you get rewarded. You get rewarded for everybody you bring in. And but generally, that in itself is not a bad thing, right? No, so no, in, no. In typical, so in my business, for example, in fashion, you can refer someone, and, and if you, you get, refer in the person shops, you get something back. But, so the process of doing that is but, not bad. But right. in your business mm -hmm. i can see the item being sold right it's material, so it's ponzi if it's, you, there is no sort of fixed item being there's treated. no fixed thing being sold there's no identity to what is being sold and it, it always comes around ev during a recession in every economy it's not just nigeria america uk it happens it's everywhere happening. In Russia, South Africa, it happens globally. So it's not just unique to Nigeria. And the thing for me was the day I, I did a video about it back then, but I, I got worried the day I saw I was in front of a bank, I was trying to use the ATM, and I saw the security guard in front of a bank, a Nigerian bank. He was trying to market it as someone else. And that was when I knew, okay, this has gotten serious. Okay, but so now we spend time talking about sort of the bad version of yeah. it, which is the Ponzi scheme, it's the MMMs. Mm -hmm. You want to be avoiding those. Mm -hmm. Is there a good sort of side or is there another way that it can appear? So there's there's firms that they call themselves multi-level marketing. Mm -hmm. they, a lot of them exist in America. Some mm -hmm. of them, I think, might even be traded. Um, and they have products. So maybe an example would be probably like Forever Living. Mm -hmm. uh, I know there's, there's ones like that. They do it in jewelry, even in clothing. Um, some people claim the ones in gold as well apply. So... Is there a system where you, there's a multi-level marketing scheme where 
you know, it's not the bad kind. So we talked about the bad kind. Is there a good version? Okay, so um, what I'm trying to say is there are two sides of this. I think that there's definitely the Ponzi schemes which people should avoid and you should need to do your research. And there is ones who are multi-level marketing. But how which I am not very convinced about, but we have a guest on the show who's going to try and convince me. So I'm excited to welcome to the show our guest, Jennifer Chukujekre, who is a lifestyle entrepreneur and a network marketer. And she's going to be helping us break down the difference uh, between the two and also tell us more about the scheme that she's a part of and how apparently you can earn lots of money. So welcome to the show, Jennifer. Thank you. Excellent. So tell us. Tunji and I have been arguing, we can't seem to agree. How do you, what do you think the difference is between sort of Ponzi scheme and network marketing? Because I'm, I'm assuming you as well don't want to get ripped off, right? You no, wanna... no, 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 not at all. Basically, Ponzi scheme, like he's rightly said, there's no product. So definitely, he's just um, robbing Peter to pay Paul. So right. it just goes round and round in a circle. So at the end of the day, what happens is some people will definitely lose a lot of money, and mm-hmm. it's mostly people at the bottom. Mm-hmm. So what happens is those at the top actually make money, but the truth is it goes bust anyway. Mm-hmm. So now, and for a Ponzi scheme, there is no face behind it. Mm-hmm. There is no known, there's no director. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's not even registered. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't know anything about it. But now for network marketing, that's different now. Network marketing it should be a product. Now, if you're doing a business and there's no product, then please don't bother. It has to be a product. It has to be a face behind it. It has mm-hmm. to be registered. It has to, you, before you even decide to pick a network marketing business to do, you should look at um, how many years they've been in existence. Uh, you should be able to follow the trend. Like we mentioned, there's a couple of ones you mentioned earlier. They've been there and they've been able to um, test as a, whether the, te- uh, yeah, they've been there for a while. So basically, yes. So but what is key is the product. Is the product. Yes. So which sort of network marketing scheme are you a part of? Um, part what of, does it do? Okay, I'm a part of Global Intergold. Okay. So it's into, they're into gold investments. Right. So that's the difference. And now the good thing about Global Intergold is, like I said, the product is gold. Okay. So now you invest in gold. So actually, actually, when you, when you join the business, you pay for um, a certain um, grammage of gold. Okay. Okay. So basically, so you're it's, buying gold. I'm buying gold. Okay. So. What I've paid for, I've actually paid for my gold. Mm-hmm. So now the difference now is I can decide to either just trade in gold and not do the networking part. Mm-hmm. I can decide to do the networking part. I will mm-hmm. do both. Okay. So fine. If I, for me, I'm doing more on the networking part. So okay. it's like, um, take for example, someone that is into real estate. Mm-hmm. Um, you buy a piece of land and let's say the land is there, right? So for gold too, it's like... You have the gold. Yeah, you have the gold. The land is there. If it's land, you're comparing it to. Right. It appreciates. So that's right. fine. So now let's assume the for the land now let's say the uh, real estate person or whoever tells you okay do you know what if you get people to join or to buy a piece of land from me you get paid commission so that's the same thing with the gold one too mm-hmm. so if you get people if you refer people to um, purchase the gold then you get paid commissions based on that right. so that's how that works so definitely remember my gold is still there it's mm-hmm. appreciating I can decide to sell it off tomorrow I can okay. decide to do whatever do I want to do you get the gold like in your house yes okay. you can actually they are actually gold bars so okay. it's not like jewelry jewelry okay. but the good thing about it is you can actually decide to convert the gold to jewelry if you want to okay so that's if that's what you want to do okay. for for some other people you can decide to keep the gold bars and um, use them for collaterals in the bank or right. whatever so it's actually like that's why I was comparing it to like a land because it's something I appreciate. Okay. And the good thing about gold is, even if I get stranded in maybe America and I have my piece of gold, so I can do you, So when it. you, so, so, so how long have you joined? You've been doing for it for four months. And yeah. how much have you made in that time? Um, six million, so that's 1.5, okay. four times. And how many people have you had to bring oh, in to make that? So sorry, so sorry. sorry. Get okay. Can I, can I, can okay. I? Okay, yeah, caught But let me just find out how many people brought in. So I, I need to ask, yeah. um, First of all, have you actually seen yes, a have. physical yes, I have. I bar? Have. I have one. Do you, you actually have received one? I actually one? received one, and I have proof to show that. Wow. Yes. But that one bar you received, <laughs> is, it the, is it equivalent to all the money that you've invested? No. It's just an example of... They come, they come in um, different grammages. So it comes in one gram, 10 grams. So you order as much as you want. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not done yet. Yeah, so I'm not I have, done yet. So that, where, I have that. where exactly is it kept? Where is it coming from? You, if you want your gold, okay, all you have to do is just order for it and it send it to you. It's DHL. There's no two way So where it. is it coming from? It's coming from Switzerland. It's coming from the office, from the head office. I have proof to show that. I have all So that. this company, what does it do like most of the time? Is this what the company specializes in? Or just gold investments, yeah. Gold <sighs> bars, yeah. So people trade in gold. So okay. basically that. So this is how it works. When you get when you when you earn uh, when you earn, you have a choice to decide. Okay, do you want? I want I want my earnings in gold, 
or I want my earnings to be part gold, part cash. So what happens to us most times in Nigeria, what we do is we take part cash and part gold. But because of people who don't believe, we like always to... ask for the gold. So if it's the gold, I can prove I have gold. Okay, three things. Now, yeah. first of all, how mm. much is the current going price mm. on the open market for gold bar? Isn't it decreasing? Yeah. Be, that okay. is that mm -hmm. is that is one in yeah. that is one uh, mm. point because if it is being traded as mm. gold, mm. then the fluctuations on the open market, just the same way the fluctuations of crude oil, will affect gold. That means. But you get the thirty percent upside anyway. So how does that happen? How does that happen? Getting thirty percent or one. Exactly. Thing. Basically, like I said, um, it would definitely it appreciates and it comes down. So that's fine, as in terms of gold and all that. The same thing for it. Well, how come you keep winning? No, Without. I do mostly the network marketing anyway. Okay. So what about so people that have focused in... On the trading of the gold. Yeah. Well, because I don't you know, do the trading a gold of the gold. Bar, holding okay. a gold, creating a gold yeah. bar is not very yeah. difficult. I mean, mm, I, 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 and all that. This, this, this ring mm. is gold. Mm. A chain is gold. You, yeah. can, you can melt a couple of things into a gold bar mm. yeah. and use that as proof. I don't mm. know if it's that easy, but yeah. It is that easy. I mean, it, 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 it's a gold um, it's not that goldsmith easy to can gold. do that. No. Yeah. It's not that easy to make a solid gold bar. But I don't that's aside so. the point, yes. Mm -hmm. But you can have a gold, point, <laughs> yeah. gold bar, yes. So, and at the end of the day, what you believe people want to see is a couple of gold bars as against where now the thing is in um, relations to this um somebody was talking to me about uh, swiss golden and, yes. and the person yeah, i have said, lots of yeah. friends that have the person done that, said yeah. um the it is stored in the swiss bank right in the bank of switzerland mm -hmm. and well the bank of switzerland is pretty much like jp morgan if uh, if you understand what an works. investment bank is so um to say that it is stored with um, the Swiss bank is kind of like saying my money is with GT CBN Bank. Or, or CBN. No, not even, let's even leave CBN. CBN is too way high. Mm. My money is with GT Bank, mm. which really doesn't add credence to it. It is a bank account. It mm. is not that the Swiss bank is the one giving the gold bars. The money, exactly. Yeah. So, Putting the Bank of Switzerland as a name behind it kind of gives it some authenticity, not realizing that the Swiss bank has nothing to do with it. Here's my pain. Yeah. Right? And this so is you put honest, a lot of pain on this topic. Um, no, honestly, I, I, in, in, in 2006, 2007, mm. um, I, I saw the pain of Ponzi's. So Ponzi's different. No, no, no. I'm not talking about multi-level. Mm. I, I saw the pain of Ponzi's. And the reason why Ponzi's became very authentic at the time was because of the success around multi-level marketing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they rode on the back of that and a lot of them, a you know, World Solutions, a lot of them really, really blew up and made a lot of money off people. I saw Nigerians who were living abroad who, instead of sending money back home to build houses, were sending yeah, money right. to put into those Ponzi schemes. Mm -hmm. And it, it really crashed a lot of families. There's a woman I know who fell ill right after it and did not recover? We she were passed on for it. So just now, last year, lots no. Of so that was the pain for me the when way. it came back again last yes. year. I was like, "Are you guys serious? Are you guys really putting money into this?" And it upset me a lot. Now, just the same way it happened in two thousand and six, two thousand and seven, multi-level marketing schemes are. There's always this relationship yeah, somehow one once one is thriving the other one starts to thrive now that's the reason why i start to ask questions multi-level marketing i understand it like okay um the forever living products for instance we can question the veracity of the um products yeah. we can argue do does it make you lose weight but does it make you can market, we argue can now that is, that is that is side by side you can argue that tomorrow is it scientific is it blah, blah, blah. but at least you can see this is a container of soap so you take it to the market can, somebody will pay you somebody you pay, exactly yeah. now when it started to enter it was even the swiss golden i've not heard about yours it was swiss golden and the first thing the person goes is the person just throws it as you know the person was trying to defend it and the person goes you know the gold bars are in the bank of switzerland and i'm like are you kidding are you having you know what so i have friends why would you just swear by that program and they've made a ton of cash but my worry and why i wouldn't do it is just i'm just like okay but what if i put in my money who do i go to hold in the day Damn. that the money doesn't come out or worse still i've gone to go and recruit other people 
and then I'm now somehow responsible if their money as well doesn't come out. I just feel like there's more responsible ways to which I can invest that and, same and, amount and of money know, and get returns. I know returns. the good thing about so it. So that's is my that, gripe. Okay, for instance. And so in this case, I'm like, okay, so who, if if we listen to Mrs. Jennifer here, mm -hmm. and if I take my money and I put it in this scheme, mm -hmm. and it doesn't go in the way that I would like, to, yeah. how do, you get who do I go to home? I think, I think she, they, she is explaining how it, but you see, one I always have an issue with is, for instance, we've mentioned GT Bank a couple of times. GT Bank has an MD. You can track his yeah. track record. You know right. where he went to school. You know his family. You can track it. You know GT's board is on the website. You can basically see it. You can go and knock on the chairman's I'll of, be like, hey, bro, uh, where's Oga my money? money. <laughs> you get? Pay up. So, so it is the um, authenticity of the people that instituted behind, yeah. the in institution that you now give you, gives you confidence. confidence to go and put your money yeah. into it. But with this organizations, oh, wait, uh, now what is what always happens with these organizations is that they try to throw a, a name that you trust yeah. into the mix to, so to that you that just... Trust. But I also I think that another trust level that they've that they've managed to inculcate is the fact that it's peer to peer in a way. So it's someone you know who you know who's coming uh -huh. to you and introducing then the I'm program. I'm telling to you, you. Uh, you know, honey. So you know, the you know, so it's not that it, it's necessarily a stranger. It's typically people in your network, people yeah. that you know, and they're saying, mm -hmm. "Hey, this is a new way." I mean, you know, especially in the case of Swiss Gold, oh, this is an alternative way to make money, and you should have more than one income stream. And they always talk in millions. You know, I made fourteen point three. And no, but and people are making. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> There's always people, a point. But seriously, people are actually making that kind of money. Okay. And the truth now is. In terms of who is behind, I can tell you now, I have who is behind that. I have him on my phone. As in, I talk to him. Okay. So I can call him. So is he in charge of the Nigerian one? Is he in charge of the global one? He's the global. Okay. Do you understand? Now, the Nigerian person is a lady. That's okay. blessing. Okay? okay. But the global one is different. It's um, Vitaly. Now, as I'm talking to you now, I'm also going to Germany for the brand conference. And right. I'm going there. So that's why I was so excited when I was invited on here. Because what I want to do is actually go there, see there, and... If possible, let the whole world know that this is real. It's right. not, um, it's, it's, it's different from Ponzi. Yeah. Now, in terms of the gold and all that, I have the gold, okay? So basically how it works is you can request for your gold to be delivered to you and it delivered to your doorstep right. through DHL. So it's right. not as if uh, it's, some people say it's internet gold. Do right. you, have you seen it? Have you picked yep. it up and stuff like that? No. So now this is how it works. For the referral part, it's up to you. The problem with network marketing in Nigeria is people just want to drop money and go. It's not MMM, it's not Ponzi. It's MMM that you drop money and go. That's where you hear people say, I've put my money in this business for like two months. That's it's happening. I want my money back. Because you haven't worked. In network marketing, you need to work. So I guess um, it's pretty difficult to come to an We're agreement. We're going to have to agree I, to disagree. I, I agree to disagree. Um, the, the general context to it is, to start with the Ponzi's, I, I believe the easiest way to understand and be able to track a Ponzi is you do not know where the money is. On the Nigerian Stock Exchange, you know where the funds are being kept. You know it's in a CSCS account. You know that's the structure. You know the um, directors of each company. You know where they are. You can trace their houses. And you know their track history. There's a reason why they put directors on the website of each company so that you can see who they are, what they've done with their lives, and you know be able to... It's true. Bas yeah. That's why they are on the board. Yeah. In the first so you can place. research and you, you can, can make an informed decision. You can research and make an informed decision. Yeah. But the easiest way to spot a Ponzi is that, I mean, they're giving you um, things um, that are too good to be true. 30% of for three months or it's one month. not even two months. You can get like 30% in like two weeks. You know, so if it sounds too good, good to be it's true, usually it's is. usually true. And, and but except you have, I think it also just depends on your risk appetite. So um, if you are... If you have quite a good risk appetite, then maybe it's interesting. But if, if you're quite a moderate person and you like your money to be secure and you like to be able to see where it's going, then it's probably not for you, right? Correct? Because No, no, no. I, I, there disagree? are people who have high risk appetites, right? I'm and, and, and there are some of them who are investing in very volatile um, markets. Right. Some people are on the NASDAQ. There are Nigerians who are investing on NASDAQ. There are Nigerians right now, even with the Tupsi Turvy way, the, the Nigerian Stock Some Exchange, people call are investing on the Nigerian Stock Exchange because yes. they have a large risk appetite. And there are people still making money despite the fact that it's Tupsi Turvy. That is because they understand the trajectory. I can see my money from here. I can see my money from there. I know that if I sell something in two, uh, T, minus, uh, T plus three days, I get my I money in my account. It is straightforward. You can tell if the if the director decides to play 
shenanigans I know who to go and report to right. the Securities and Exchange Commission. You know, so there is a reason why all those things are in place in every single country, right? So if you can't tr really track that, I think you need to do more investigation yeah. and more digging into and it. And I would end it there and just say people need to do more research and really be sure, uh, yeah. try to speak to as many people as you can. Do research on the company, do research on the people who are inviting you to the program, uh, and really try to just keep your money secure. I mean, we work too hard for our money to just see it... Uh, go fleeting in the air and for mm -hmm. someone to tell sorry um i want to say a huge thank you jenna for, <laughs> for coming onto the show I and sharing, and <clears throat> and sharing no, no, um, your story and sharing with us the world of network marketing yeah. i think mm -hmm. that a lot of people would have learned a lot and you've suddenly given us a lot of food for thought and even though we don't always come to you know a natural happy conclusion i think <laughs> well, it's important that we have this conversation in this yeah, course and, 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 and yeah. really thank you for coming on because there were some other network programs who are happy to make a lot of noise but then they decline sort of opportunities yeah. to come and defend it yeah. so i think that's at least standing in good stead excellent excellent <laughs> excellent so i would love to hear more from you guys um are you have you done a network scheme have you had your money uh taken from a ponzi scheme um how do you feel about the world of multi-level marketing alternative investments as studio calls it or network marketing we'd love to hear from you the hashtag to use is analyze this or you can reach us on the handle at indani tv Personally, I'm the conservative one. If you want to chat about that, my <laughs> handle is at Honey Ogundei on Twitter, Snapchat, YouTube, Facebook, most social media handles. And if you'd like to talk to Tunji, who is very irate at the moment, uh, how do you reach you, Tunji? You're trying to set them up to come at me, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, my Go name is Tunji him. Andrews uh, on Twitter. Uh, uh, the handle is Tunji Andrews, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You can reach out to me. Rub, rub, rub. And Mrs. Jennifer, how can we reach you? Um, no, how can you reach me? Okay, Instagram is yeah, Jennifer Chukwudekwe. Yes, yeah, yeah. Jennifer Chukwudekwe. Yes, Jennifer oh, Facebook, same thing. Jennifer okay. Chukwudekwe. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Have a great week. <laughs>